Hi guys, my name is Chad Wilson. I'm Vice President of Marketing for Green Remedy, Inc. Uh, we are a CBD extraction company uh, based in Louisville at 4104 Bishop Lane. Main thing I'm here today is because I'm proud to be a, a hemp farmer. I'm a proud to see what we're doing. My farmers are out here today and guys, we're bringing new hope. We're bringing, it's absolutely amazing what we're doing in this state. You're seeing a revitalization of the farm family. You're seeing a revitalization of farming. You're seeing new concepts, indoor and gardening and greenhouses and, and the mind is only, the, that's the great thing about this plant. And I will tell you this with everybody in here, that is one thing that you have to do. You have to kind of slow your roll because with hemp there is so many things that you can do. So you folks in here that are new farmers or wanting to come in, I just advise you to say, hey, this is where I want to be in the hemp industry and deciding that because you can easily get overcome with all the possibilities of this plant. But the reason I'm here today is, is I want to give you a little bit about us. Um, we're four guys that about, if you'd met me six years ago, you would never in the world thought I would have been standing up here talking about him. I was raised in the traditional Kentucky way. And uh, if it had five to let seven leaves on it, I, it scared me to death. You wasn't even supposed to be around it in any shape, form, or fashion. It didn't matter. So uh, my mama for a long time didn't claim me, but now she does. And, um, but the uh, reality is, is we are. We're changing the farm life. And, and I, I tell everybody, we got hard, hard working people in Kentucky. We ain't, we ain't used to, to easy. We got beautiful farmland. And now we have our heritage back. We have a seed that brings us hope. And I want you to encourage everyone that, to, that you know to plant this marvelous and amazing seed. Because with each seed that we plant, it grows and it brings more hope. And we can revitalize these small farms and soybeans and corn. Yes, that's still always going to be a part of the Kentucky crop life. But let's introduce this new great agri... Well, it's not new. <laughs> it's old. And let's bring it back to the farm and use it. Because this plant is absolutely amazing. From breaking down and, and getting that old hard pan out and, and busting that, that massive tap root and opening that soil back up, it can bring life back to your farm and back to your soil. So it's using things, like they said, that organic, using things, being sustainable and renewable. And I, I believe that that's the big thing that hemp offers us. It, it allows us to see that, you know what, maybe we aren't doing things exactly the way we should be. Maybe we shouldn't be throwing all these chemicals and doing this. It brings us back to that reality. It says, maybe the old ways are the, are the good ways. So, uh, so uh, you know, I'm very proud to do that. And we're, we're very proud to be an American hemp farmer. And we take a lot of pride. We manufacture products. Our main goal is safe, clean, super critical extraction. Um, and basically, everyone in here, I'm sure, CBD, cannabidiol. Uh, that's what we're after. We're after that part of the flower and that compound that is, has some practical purposes in pharmaceutical, but also we believe in the natural supplement uh, way as well. Um, and that's another thing that we guys, we must fight for because, you know, we're seeing uh, some things happening in with CBD, the FDA and the DEA and, and all this. So you got to make your voice heard. You got to contact your politicians. Tell them, tell them to stand up for hemp. We need, to, we need hemp removed from the CSA. You know, we got our politicians working on that now, but it needs to be removed from the Controlled Substance Act. So, and that's very vital. That's very vital to the success of this plant and moving and, and, and across the, the nation. So, um, but Green Remedy, um, we have a 30,000 square foot facility and we'd like to earn your business. Uh, we'd like to become your super critical extraction company. Um, we have uh, dedicated and made a financial investment to the state of Kentucky um, and we know that it was the right thing to do um, because like I said, we, we have a new hope now. Um, I, uh, I just want to, to, you know, everybody seems to think farm-wise, I've spoken with a lot of farmers already this morning, I want you to have your concepts that this is not a magical plan. You know, you, you always hear it, don't need this, it don't need, yes, it does. <laughs> it needs care, it needs love, it's not just a weed that grows on the side of the road. Um, it does have to have some care. It does have to have some love. It needs nitrogen. It needs, don't like wet feet. So if you have questions about hemp, Chris and myself will be here. We're going to help you to, uh, throughout the day as well. 
Um, but, uh, you know, don't put your expectations of this plant so high. Because I'll be honest, we did. I believe everybody did when we first, because this plant grabs a hold of you. Um, and, and it's easy. Uh, you got to learn to kind of control them emotions and, and stay balanced in there and stay within the realistic aspect of this plant. So, you know, please look at it as it's not something that's going to make you get rich quick. It's not. But it can be a crop that allows you to have a sustainable, renewable, predictable income off of your farm. So, you know, um, and with saying that, you know, guys, we are really proud to be here. Um, and we're proud of the fact that Green Remedy approximately six months ago, we're not a Kentucky proud, we're a Kentucky proud hemp company, but all of our products are not yet because we didn't, we had a rough year last year. And uh, that's why I told you, have your realistic expectations because the weather got to us last year and, and damaged a lot of crops and, and, and hurt us. Um, but uh, our farmers didn't. We, we, we took our responsibilities with our farmer and we kept them. And our farmers came back to us this year to, to grow for us again uh, because of that. But um, it's really exciting to see, and just even in the conversations that we've had here, there is such an interest in this plant. And, and like I said, if you'd met me a few years ago, and even three years ago, um, it is absolutely amazing how things are changing. It's snowballing now. We're getting ahead of this. I used to go in and I would go carry my products because we manufacture CBD products, uh, vape juices, tinctures, salves, pain creams. And I'd go into shops and they would run me out and I'd, be, I'd go back with my head low and talk to Chris and I'd be just about crying. I love this plant, but nobody else does. And it's nice to see that others are falling in love with this plant and the economic possibilities that it can do for our state. And uh, guys, thank you so much. I, I'm not gonna be real long-winded, but my thing is this, support your farmer, support your Kentucky hemp farmer, and Miss Doris, like every one of them, she's a godsend. Josh, we thank you. And all you others out there, you know who you are. We love you and we appreciate your support because the proud thing that I am proud of more than anything, we are Kentucky hemp farmers and Kentucky proud hemp farmers, but we're American hemp farmers. And that's the thing. Every bit of our product comes off the American farm. Every bit of it. We do not import. It's straight from American farms. And hopefully next year, with the acreage that we have, it's all going to be Kentucky proud hemp farm. So, uh, guys, thank you so much. And if we can have any questions or anything, me and Chris will be in the back. We would love to talk to you. And uh, I just want to encourage you. Let's grow some hemp.